Good morning, everyone. It is, what is today? I have had a lost week. <laughs> what is today? Today is Wednesday. So happy Wednesday. We are finally in the month of September. And that means that fall is just on the horizon. And that is my favorite time of year here in West Virginia because we have the most beautiful mountains and it becomes covered in these beautiful colored leaves and signs of autumn are everywhere and I love it. That's just one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things. So I've got kind of an autumn-y looking blouse on today. Ron and I are gonna go to the mall today. Um, not going for anything specific, not even going to necessarily spend any money, but uh, we are going to go and walk. I think we may get lunch there because um, we did not eat any breakfast this morning and uh, we were kind of dragging all morning because yesterday was Labor Day. We had a lovely Labor Day. I hope you all did too. We went to friend's house and we had a cookout and we had bratwurst and hot dogs, hamburgers, baked beans, buffalo dip, I'm trying to think. I made macaroni salad as you've seen in my previous video. Um, what else did we eat? Oh, we had the most delicious hummus. It was store-bought and I took a picture of the container <laughs> because I'm like, as soon as I get to the store, I'm looking for that hummus. And I'm not just gonna buy one, I'm gonna buy two. Ronnie gets his own, because I'm telling you, it was delicious, delicious. One thing about hummus, if you don't know, it's made with chickpeas, so it's not that bad for you. And so, I get the original plain pork rinds for Ronnie, because there are zero carbs and no sugar, and it would be really good to dip your pork rinds into that hummus. It was amazing. If you like things that are super, super spicy, it was delicious. I'm hoping that if I find it, I'll be able to share it with you guys in my next grocery haul. So keep your fingers crossed that the store has it because I'm all, I like, I ate it yesterday and I'm like, I think about it, it makes my mouth water. It was that good. Very few times do I find things that really blow my mind like that. And that one there is the best hummus I have ever eaten. So my friend Danny introduced me to it. He's got me hooked. Um, but hopefully I can find it and share it with you guys because I know I've got quite a few people that like spicy food just like I do. And, you know, I want to share the legit things that I do like. By the way, I do want to mention really quickly, people have been asking me, are you sponsored by this? Are you sponsored by that? I am not sponsored by anyone, no one. So all products that I share in my videos, my vacuum cleaners, my floor scrubbers, everything that I share, I'm, I buy on my own. And I would not share with you if I legit did not uh, use it or like it. Um, I believe in being honest with my subscribers. And, um, you know, I know that there are a lot of YouTubers that get sponsored by different companies and things. And if it is sponsored, I will say I'm being sponsored by but I'm not being sponsored by anyone, by anyone. So if I share it with you, I buy it myself and I am telling you an honest review about the product or whatever it is that I'm sharing with you guys. So I got the TV on over here and I am drinking my coffee this morning in my Buffalo plaid. If you are new to my channel, Welcome, I am Heidi, and welcome to Heidi's home. One thing you gotta know about me is I am crazily obsessed with buffalo plaid. I don't think you can have too much. I just, I love this. Um, I'm thinking, how can I arrange buffalo plaid in Christmas this year? Because I love, I love it so much. 
my table runner, my tablecloth, my curtains in my dining room are buffalo plaid. You get the picture. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm dying to decorate for fall, but I may not get to that this year because Ronnie and I in October are having our fingers crossed. But so far, and so far, I believe it's going to happen. Um, we are going to have our living room newly painted, the ceiling and the walls. Give it a good, fresh coat of paint. It's going to be so nice, so nice, so nice. I have been wanting it done for so long. And we're finally going to get it done. This room is really big. And when I look at it, it kind of stresses me out. Like, how do we approach this? But I think we have a game plan. I do have somebody who's coming to do it. Um, I am going to assist just a little bit with moving all my knickknacks and stuff like that out of here. He's not going to have to deal with any of that. But the large objects, he's going to have to help move or whatever. He is a friend of ours. And um, he did paint the front of our house and the back of our house outside and did our yard cleanup. And so I know he's going to do a spectacular job. He, he has not let me down so far. I'm very happy. And so I'm looking forward to that because it's like, if I can get anything for Christmas at all, it would be having my living room painted. I wanted it done last year before the holidays, but if I can get it done this year before the holidays and then like, you know, everything is clean in here and fresh and we decorate it for the holidays, <gasps> it's just going to be great. But I don't think I'm going to get... I don't know that I'm going to get the fall stuff out because I don't know. I don't even know. <laughs> uh, for one thing, I am I got a little trip planned and I got a lot of things going on. And so, you know, we're just busy, busy, busy. I already do have a couple fall things out though. I have a couple, just, just so you know, and it's not going to be a big surprise, but my friend... Emma, Emma, if you're watching, she watches all my videos. I've got two buffalo plaid pumpkins on my fireplace down here already. She brought me an orange pumpkin that is so cute. It's over here on my hutch. And I think I've got, I've got some fall flowers out in, um, on my kitchen table. So I've got a little bit of fall stuff already out. But I don't know if, it's, if I'm going to go all out this year. I did think about doing, you know, everything, I don't know if you guys think like this, everything costs money. So obviously, whenever you want to do something, you have to pick to what is most important to you. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, so, you know, that's just life. If anybody who has bills and all that kind of thing, you do that. So I have to decide what is most important um, for me to do, to do, to do. I um, have always wanted to decorate the back porch a little bit when you come into the door. I think it would be really pretty, especially in the back. And I don't know, but I feel like you can really see my highlighter today. <clears throat> I did put on a little extra makeup today, but... I put this new lotion on under my makeup that my mother gave me, and it's supposed to make you glow. And we've been teasing each other, like, am I glowing yet, Mom? Is it working? <laughs> I need all the glow help I can get. <laughs> Anyways, I, I would like to um, decorate my back porch just a little bit for fall, um, but I just don't even know what I'm going to do. And then I have some craft ideas in my head that I want to do for Christmas. I don't even know if I'm going to get to it. It's like I have these ideas, but I have to pick and choose which ones I want to go for. Um, there is some really cute pots, like terracotta pots that you paint to look like Santa Claus. And I have been really considering making them for Christmas presents. There was also these here uh, flowers I seen online that you make out of canning rings. 
And if I, whatever I make, I'll share with you guys and show you so that you guys, if you all want to make it, you can. Um, there was these Christmas trees that are made out of coffee filters. And I thought, oh my gosh, I so want to make those. So want to make those. Um, I think they would be really pretty up here on my fireplace. Where's it at? Right there. <laughs> Cause I put like a garland on here, like a swag that's lit up. And I think those trees protruding where the, you know, where the, um, the mirror is, I think it would be really pretty. So anyways, I'm gonna be quiet. I have been rambling, it's the coffee, it's done, kicked in, I'm ready to go. Um, Ronnie's upstairs getting cleaned up and I am just looking forward to getting out of here, probably grabbing some lunch at the mall nothing expensive just something easy and uh, just getting in a good walk um, we will be up there for a couple of hours I might rummage through and look at um, the stuff that they have in home goods I love home goods it's an addictive it's an addictive store is it not I mean it really is I love home goods um, and it's not really in anymore, but the um, the Ray Dunn stuff um, that people was really raving over before, they get it in every once in a while, and I like to just look at it. I don't necessarily buy a lot of it, but I just like to look and see what they have. Um, now, I will tell you, you know, home goods is prices you can't beat them, especially like on skillets or bakeware or anything like that. I bought several pieces that I have here. So home good home goods is the place. TJ Maxx is pretty good. I don't find a lot at TJ Maxx. I know a lot of people seem like they they really hit the jackpot when they go to TJ Maxx, but I don't find too much. But anyways, I am going to hush, finish my coffee. I've got to get my hearing aids in, and then we are going to be on the bus and headed to the mall. And I can't wait.
Well, went to Home Goods and the and this <laughs> is this thing gonna hold us? <laughs> this, yeah, just don't move too hard. Yeah, this <laughs> this bench is crickety. Um, went to Home Goods and um, the line was wrapped clear around, and it took a while. And it's stifling when you have people standing on top of you, and I'm sweating to death. And uh, anyways. <laughs> Whew. We had a nice, nice uh, walk so far, even though I said, let's sit down. And I found the skinny waters that I was looking for at Home Goods. There was another lady that was watching. I told her to tune in to Heidi's home. And if you're her, leave me a comment down below so that I can say hello to you. <laughs> her and I both were scoping out the skinny waters. They didn't have the skinny brand, but they had others. They, so I got the caramel and the coconut, and uh, I'm into uh, the flavored waters, and I'm trying to get him into it too, right, Dave? <laughs> Are you gonna drink it too? Well, if it's good. <laughs> I mean, I'd try anything once. <laughs> well, I'm gonna do the green apple with the caramel and I'm gonna do the pineapple with the coconut was the two skinny water mixes that looked the most appealing to me so far. They did have a white chocolate in there that I may come back later and get. She used it in her coffee drink and that looked really, really delicious, especially for winter, even though it was iced coffee, but you could do it hot if you wanted to. And I think we're gonna sit here a minute and then mosey our way back probably to towards the front and call for our ride now we summed up our shopping trip probably about 30 minutes early because it was so hot today but i got home got me an ice water got cooled down by that time happened it was dinner time we had chicken fajitas and then I always water all of my plants at night before I go to bed. And I don't remember having flowers this time last year, but I could have, but I don't remember it. Uh, seems like last year we had already had some more autumn-like weather, but it is brutally warm. <laughs> today it was it was over 95 degrees on this particular day that we went to the mall but i hope you all enjoyed watching this video if you are new to my channel please hit that subscribe button you're going to see me lastly water my begonias and i will see you all next week you all have a fabulous week and i will be talking to you all again soon bye guys